Hello everybody, I'm Sompy and welcome to another episode of Metroid Other M. Uh, so, uh, a slightly different start to this one you may have noticed, uh, and that's because last time we beat the game. Uh, and in doing so we get uh, a few new things become available to us. So, um, let's talk about those I guess. Uh, the first thing you might have noticed is that we have some sort of new music on the title screen. Um, Technically, you're not supposed to hear that until you've done the, the post-game stuff, which is what we are going to be doing this episode. Uh, you're not really supposed to be able to hear it yet, but uh, I've kind of messed up my save file, so you're hearing it now instead. Uh, it's not really a big deal. Um, anyway, the other things that we get for beating the game are theatre mode. Uh, so let's check out theatre mode. As you can probably guess, theatre mode uh, lets you view all of the cutscenes in the game again, whenever you like. Um, oh, there's a few, few we haven't seen there, there's spoilers. Um, it's nothing too remarkable, you probably already guessed what it did when, I, when you saw the words theatre mode. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention though, which is a little bit weird, is the, the big play all button up here. Now if you, if you click this, obviously it will play all of the cutscenes in order. Um, but in between the kind of main cutscenes, it also puts like gameplay footage of like Samus running through various areas of the battleship and taking on en enemies and beating bosses and stuff like that to kind of tie all the cutscenes together. Which I don't think is something I've ever seen in a game before. I could be wrong. Not in any. Of the, it's not been in any of the games I've played. But I'll put it that way. Um, which just seems like a very odd choice. A very strange thing to do. Um, it, and it refers to itself as Metroid or the M the movie. Um, which is just yeah, that's a bit weird if you ask me. Um, I've never sat down and watched it myself because just no. Um, but I believe it lasts about two hours. So. If you've got really nothing better to do, and you've got two hours, then yeah, you can watch Metroid or the M, the movie. Uh, no thanks. So, anyway, let's move on to the other thing that we get, uh, and that is gallery mode. Uh, again, you can probably guess what gallery mode is. Gallery mode is uh, a whole bunch of concept art, really, from the development of the game that you can you can have a look at and, and view. Uh, nothing super exciting, but there's a, there's a couple of interesting images in here. Um, by by beating the game and getting to the credits, you will get the uh, sort of first half of the gallery mode unlocked. Uh, I think there are eight yeah there are eight screens in total. You will get by getting to the credits, you will get the first four, and by 100% in the game, which we will do by the end of <laughs> that's kind of cute. I never noticed that before. Um, by uh, getting 100% of the game, which we will have done by the, we will have done by the end of this episode, you will get the remaining four. Um, that means there are 96 uh, there are 96 images in total. Uh, I'm not going to show them all because some of them aren't really that interesting. Uh, some like, like I'm sure there's one that just shows you like a missile tank, which is just like ooh, how exciting. Um, um, and it would just take quite a while to go through them all. Um, if you're really interested, uh, well, that's just David Beckham. Why is David Beckham in this game? Um, if you're really interested, you can find them quite easily online. It might be a bit cheeky and kind of lazy for me to say just look them up yourself, but yeah. They're quite easy to find, so if you're super interested, you can you can find them online very easily. Um, so yeah, those are the, the two sort of main things I want to talk about. There are a couple of other things. Uh, if we hit Start Game and go to the File Select, uh, you will notice uh, a couple of different things. Firstly, uh, next to where it says Slot 1, or Slot 2 I guess in this case, uh, that's just a backup file there, um, you'll notice there is a small sort of hair clip icon appeared. Um, that basically just appears when you, you've kind of viewed the credits, just to kind of show that Yep, on that file, you've, you've beaten the game. Uh, another thing uh, that's now there as well is also on the right-hand side, near the timer, uh, it says 61%. Uh, the percent is the uh, sort of rate of item collection. Uh, probably could have phrased that there. But yeah, we have got, uh, so far, 61% of the pickups, which means there's still another 39 to go, and that's basically going to make up the bulk of this episode. Uh, yeah, collecting the rest of the pickups. Um, one final thing as well, by beating the uh, the main story, you also get access to hard mode. Uh, it, when you try and start a new file, you can pick normal mode or hard mode. Uh, hard mode in this game is a little bit different. Uh, I want to say, as a general rule, most games that have like a hard have like harder difficulties, sort of in, basically just like increase the amount of enemies or make the enemies do more damage or give them more health or something like that. Uh, Metroid Other M takes a, a kind of different approach to it. Um, basically. Uh, all the pickups are removed from the bottle ship, which means you will never uh, find an energy tank or any missile tanks or anything like that. So you are stuck with a single energy tank 
and 10 missiles for the entire game, which is quite interesting, quite an interesting way of doing it. Um, particularly later on I could see that being quite challenging. Uh, some of the enemies that say take quite a lot of missiles to beat or can deal over an, one energy tank in a single hit. Yeah, I can see that being quite difficult later on in the game. I guess that's the point of the hard mode though, so duh. Um, I've never tried it myself um, and I probably don't intend to because um, there's no no reward for beating hard mode um, beyond your own personal satisfaction. So yeah, uh, not really worth it in my opinion. I'm probably never going to do that. But hey, if, if you want to do it, you can do. Um, oh, and also uh, in hard mode, once you've got to the credits, uh, that's it. The game will end there. Uh, you won't be able to do any of the post-game stuff that we're about to see. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, I'm sure there's a reason, but I've been trying to think of one and I just it, I can't. I just I don't know. I don't know why they did that. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's hard mode if you want to try it. But personally, I wouldn't bother. Anyway, um, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about, kind of, uh, you know, with regards to like unlocks and stuff. So, uh, why don't we uh, return to the bottle ship and uh, see what's left waiting for us? And also, you know, round up all those last, the last of those power ups. So, uh, to the bottle ship! Ultimately, the decision was made to destroy the bottle ship, a mission that will most likely be carried out in the next day or two. I'm heading toward the bottle ship now. I'm going to rescue something that was left there. Something that can't be replaced. So, uh, Samus has returned to the bottle ship to find something that uh, apparently cannot be replaced. Uh, that is our ultimate objective for this episode, but of course before we do that we want to look for all the uh, missing pickups that we missed. So, uh, if we check the, the pause screen and the map screen specifically, uh, you'll notice, uh, uh, like the file select screen, the item co our item collection percentage, uh, 61%, is shown in the bottom right. And uh, the, we also have a, an individual percentage for each of the kind of main areas of the map. Uh, which is quite useful, but if you actually check, uh, sort of, as I say, each individual area, so let's go with Sector 1, you will notice that uh, it's now covered in tiny little blue dots, which, uh, as you know, uh, mark the sort of presence of a pickup we haven't yet collected. Um, this is a bit weird, if you ask me. Um, <clears throat> after beating the game, all the pickup locations are just revealed to you, which seems a little odd. Um, for me, part of the, the like fun of a Metroid game is just kind of running around and finding all this stuff yourself. So it does seem a little odd that the game just goes, okay, here, here is, here's everything, just come and get it. Maybe that's just me. I guess it does make it easier, my job easier here, but I just, whatever. So, anyway, one other thing I want to talk about is uh, power bombs. You may have noticed that little message pop up a few moments ago saying that we now have access to power bombs. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be using power bombs a lot during this episode. Um, but uh, I, I kind of want to talk about like how they were the way they were unlocked during the, the Queen Metroid fight. Um, I thought that was a little bit weird, really. Um, I, I think they were kind of hoping or relying a lot on people knowing how uh, Metroid 2 ends. Uh, so if you don't know, at the end of Metroid 2 you also fight a Queen Metroid and um, you need to kind of roll down its throat basically into its stomach and bomb it from the inside. Um, which is the similar idea here. The problem is, um, if you don't know how Metroid... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I wasn't supposed to go down here. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know how the end of Metroid 2 goes, then it can be a little bit confusing. Uh, like, it doesn't really give you any indication that you've unlocked power bombs and you're just kind of in the, the Queen Metroid's stomach, quickly losing health. You can drop normal bombs, but they don't really do anything. It's a little bit weird. Um, pretty much every other time in this game that you've got a new ability, like Adam and or Samus will have something to say about it, and the the kind of um, the status screen will open up to indicate that you've got something new and kind of explain it to you. Whereas at this point, like, it can be a bit confusing. I know I died a lot uh, on that section because I didn't realise I had, uh, you know, I didn't realise power bombs were available to me again at that point. And uh, 
you, you just kind of have to remember the tutorial as well right at the beginning of the game that's the only time we've ever used to, uh, power bombs and then you just kind of have to figure it out it's a bit weird i don't know anyway so there's actually a pickup uh, here that we can get uh, quite an early section on the game this is where we are on the map uh, what we need to do ooh, uh, if we stop zooming in and out is stand about here and just charge forward and our speed booster should kick in and we can jump all the way up this elevator shaft, go up uh, sort of to an extra high area up in the ceiling, and we find a missile tank. Good. Okay, so uh, we'll just hop back down here, and uh, I don't think the next one's too far ahead, it isn't. Okay, so we've just got a few rooms to run through. Uh, I'm bringing back memories running through these early rooms. Also, loading screen. I'll just <laughs> slam my face into this door. It's shine spark across there. Uh, I don't know if this is strictly necessary, but I'm just going to activate this computer and to uh, reactivate this bridge. Makes it just a tiny bit easier to get back across there, although I don't think we really have any need to at this point. Anyway, let's carry on through here. And, uh, ah yes, this room with the... Uh, can we actually use the elevator in here? I'm curious. Oh, it seems like we can. I don't know if it's actually any quicker. It's probably just probably just easier to jump up the, the pl side platforms. But, yeah, anyway. There's also uh, a pickup in here. Uh, again, one that we saw a lot earlier. Sort of hidden uh, just on the right there. The little yellow thing uh, sort of behind that glass uh, is an Excel charge. To get it... Uh, we need to look to the right, and there's a switch on this wall, quite well hidden, unless you use first-person view. Blast it with a charge shot, and that opens up a door. And now we can just run on in and grab it. Goody. Excel charge, okay. Uh, I think there's only... Okay, yeah, we're basically right where we need to be, so uh, let's keep going forwards. Uh, I think through this room, I think there's a save point in here. Don't really need to save my game at this point, I've got full health, so I don't even need a recharge. Okay, we'll dash through here. I'm sure there was a pickup in this room. This is one of the first ones we collected, actually, in the game. And then we are into this kind of briefing area where we had a long cut scene uh, with Adam telling everybody where they need to go. Uh, we'll run through this door to the right, and... But... Uh, the game makes it very clear that there's something that we need to do uh, to that wall, and then also tells us how to use a power bomb. so I guess it's kind of obvious what we need to do there. Uh, before we do that, though, I do just want to kind of draw attention to this lift. Um... If you're not interested in collecting all the power-ups and you just want to go straight to the end, you might just think, well, if I just go up this lift, I can get to that objective and do it very quickly. Uh, this elevator... Uh, uh, this elevator lift... Make, I don't know what word I want to use. This uh, lift slash elevator here is out of action, so we can't get up to it. So if we do want to get up to our objective, we need to take a, a much more roundabout way. So uh, even if you're not bothered about the 100%, it takes a bit more time to get there than you might like. But anyway... Uh, the game really wants us to use a power bomb, so let's uh, let's try it out. Let's blow up this wall. Kaboom! And surprise, uh, it's not a wall after all. It's one of those big old bug things from the, the very last sort of section of the game. Uh, this guy, uh, fortunately there's only one this time. This guy is called a Desbarakian. And uh, these guys are a legitimate threat. Uh, they're very quick. They're very powerful. Um, uh, they can do a lot of damage in a very short space of time. I will also recommend don't jump because they tend to do that. <laughs> they just swat you down to the floor very quickly. So stay on your feet and just kind of sense move around. Oh, when they get stunned like that, you can run in for a lethal strike and kill them pretty quickly. That guy seemed to go down pretty fast, actually. That, was, that wasn't too bad. He did do a lot of damage, though, even with that just one attack. But anyway, now that we've done that, we can open this. We sort of go through this door. It turns out into a... It's not actually a wall that we blow up, it turns into a door that we can just run through. And uh, we found a new area. And uh, this is actually the bottle ship residential area, where all the... I guess all the, the scientists and stuff would sleep. Um, uh, yeah, so we have a couple of new areas too. Uh, although we've finished the game, there's still uh, one or two little spots that we, we didn't get to see before, that we couldn't see, because we couldn't power bomb our way through that wall. We're just going to take care of all these bugs. I don't quite know what they're doing in the residential area, but <laughs> we'll just lobby you against the wall. I, I still love that animation, it's really good. Okay, just a couple more. Take them out. Oh, there's one guy over there. Oh, hang on. Where did you come from? Falling from the ceiling. I think there's another one actually around there as well. More in here than I thought there was. Okay, the old dead? Nope, you're still somewhere over on there on the floor. Okay, he's gone. Right, so. Uh, we can have a look around. I'm guessing these are all, like, small rooms where everybody would live. I don't can't imagine them in too big. There's probably just a bed in each one, that's about it. But there's also a pickup in here, and this one can be a bit tricky to get. So what you need to do... It's kind of run in a big circle around this centre area. You can just hold right in this case. You build up your speed booster, your shine spark, shine spark straight up, and then you need to kind of space jump to this bit in the middle. Oh, I got it in one go. Okay. And you'll find an energy part. Um, I find that one quite tricky to get. I was practising this game last night, and it took me about 10 minutes to get to that one because for some reason I just couldn't seem to... Whoa. 
I did not know those were in this corridor. I couldn't seem to shine spark and then space jump to the sort of middle platform and keep my height. It was very strange. Um, got a save point here. We need to save here uh, before the door will unlock. So I we'll, guess we'll just save our game. And uh, we'll continue through this door. Another long corridor with a few enemies in it. And I think once we run through here, we find, surprise, surprise, another elevator. Well, I can't, I can never have enough to, uh, ugh, you never have too many elevators in a Metroid game. So let's just ride this to the top. Okay, and uh, now that we're up here, we find ourselves in what kind of appears to be a, just kind of a dead end, really. But over here, there is another uh, sort of door that we can power bomb our way through, so let's do that. And surprise, surprise, there's another Desbrakian inside. Uh, yep, every single one of those doors that we power bomb, uh, and that's going to be quite a lot, we're going to have to fight one of these fellas afterwards, which is kind of annoying. So uh, get used to how quickly they move and kind of learning their attacks, I guess. Uh, they're not too bad once you get to learn them, but they can, every so often, they'll just really come at you. Oh, I've stunned him pretty quickly, okay. Boom, okay, that was a pretty good fight. Didn't take a single hit. Okay, good. Uh, lethal strike, taking him out. Doors open. Good, we can go through. So, um, this area, you might recognise it. Um, this is the kind of area leading up to Sector Zero. Uh, in the sort of Sector Two. If you want to, you can continue on down that door and sort of try and get back to Sector 2. There's not really any point though because there's literally nothing there, you just find yourself at a dead end. So instead, uh, we're going to go back down through this room where we fought Nightmare and kind of head back through the weird gravity area into the, the main area of Sector 2. So, um, at this point, um, I'm literally just going to be running back through all the areas we've already been in the bottleship um, to find all the pickups we missed. Uh, if you're not interested in seeing uh, kind of the 100% of the items collected, then I uh, and you just want to skip forward to the the I guess the finale. Um, I will put a timestamp on screen about now that you can kind of just go to and um, yeah, you can skip all the the item collection and just go straight to the end. Um, otherwise, uh, stick around because I'm going to show you uh, the location of basically all the items that I've missed so far. Um, now, I'm not going to claim that this is, like, the best route to take by any means. This is just the way I've done it. Um, uh, I feel like I should probably clarify as well. Quite a lot of the items that we still have to get, we could have got sooner than this. We could have got them before we did uh, the, the final boss. I think I did touch upon this during the, the credits of the last video. Um, the reason I kind of didn't do that is because um, I felt like it would have killed the flow a bit. You know, we were quite close to the end of the story, and I felt like... Um, like stopping doing a big hunt for a bunch of items right before the end and then doing the end uh, would have killed the flow a little bit plus um even even had if we'd have done that there were still some items that we couldn't have got so we'd have had to done like a second trip around the the bottle ship to collect even more things that we couldn't get before so i just felt like it made more sense to just do it all in one go um although to be fair oops there were probably still a couple of things having said that there were still a couple of things that we probably could have got sooner than now. I think there's one or two that I've basically just run straight past, but whatever. So anyway, uh, at this point, um, there's not really a lot more to say other than we're just going to find all the items. So the plan is this. Um, oh, actually, there's one in here, so I'll, I'll get to the plan in a second. Uh, we were in this room a couple of episodes ago to pick up a couple of missile tanks, but we did come past this powerbomb door um, that we couldn't blow up at the time. And yep, another Desbrakian, so we'll take him out. Uh, kind of annoying that we couldn't blow it up at the time, but yeah, what are you going to do? So, let's take this guy out quickly. I guess I could have even, in theory, left those missiles and just got them all in one go. But we were going through, so I figured I might as well. Okay, let's take this guy out, come on. So, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but you you might notice they go... They sort of slowly turn red as you're fighting them, kind of indicating that they haven't got much health left. Oof, there we go. And once they sort of get really weakened, you can just run in and get a lethal strike. Um, one thing they can do is that if they get to a certain point, they can kind of curl up into a ball and refill the health. Fortunately, I haven't had one do that yet. Uh, it's kind of annoying when they do. You can't really... I don't think you can really do anything to stop them doing it. Uh, I imagine one will probably do it at some point during this video. But, uh, yeah, that's very annoying when they do that. You've basically just wasted a few seconds and then they've, you know, wasted a few minutes fighting them and then they just refill the health and you have to do it all again. But So try and kill them quickly when you stun them. But, anyway... Uh, what was I saying? The plan for this video, um, basically if you're playing along uh, with me and you're trying to find all the items that, you know, you haven't got yet, 
the idea is this. I'm going to fast forward through areas that we've already kind of walked through before. Uh, and then just kind of jump back in to explain um, anything that needs explaining when we get to a particular power-up. So the idea is that um, if you are playing along, you should be able to see kind of where I'm going and, you know, what rooms I've gone through. But, um, oh, I was kind of hoping to shine spark along all the way down this corridor. But it, it also, it won't take uh, forever because it is, even with like, uh, even doing this as fast as possible, it's going to take a little bit of time to get all the items, so... Um, Right, uh, I think that's everything I want to explain. I don't really have anything else to say, so uh, let's fast forward to the next item, I guess. Okay, uh, there is a, a new item in here. There's also, a, well, not a new enemy, but he, uh, a new enemy to this room. He wasn't here before. This is a Fumble Eye. Uh, I think that's what they're called, anyway. I'm not sure if I really covered... Jesus, camera. I'm not sure if I really covered him very well uh, when he first encountered him. Basically, they just kind of hang from the ceiling. Uh, when we did first encounter them, we couldn't really do any damage to them. Our, our weapons weren't good enough. At this point, however, the Plasma Beam, or, uh, well, that was a missile. The Plasma Beam takes care of him very quickly. So we'll just shoot him off the wall. And then what we have to do, this is a little bit weird, uh, you'll notice there's a lot of enemies floating around in these tanks, so we need to destroy every last one of them. Uh, I think some more over here, yep, okay. Da -da 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 -da. One over there, I'm missing that one for some reason. Okay, a couple more. And is that all of them? Oh, I missed some. Oh, here's one as well. Whoop, oh, missile's not going to work through the glass, is it? Take those guys out, is that all of them? Okay. Once we finally take care of all of them, uh, this little shutter opens and reveals a missile tank. Uh, I think that's a little bit weird, to be honest, having to kind of shoot the ones that are just minding their own business in the corner of the room, but whatever. Anyway, once you've got that one, we can just kind of wall jump up this little shaft down this side, and you can uh, sort of carry on on your way to the next one. Okay, there's a, there's a pickup in here. This is the corridor where we first saw uh, Melissa, or Madeline as we thought she was then. Uh, big old shot on the floor, blast it with a super missile, and uh, yeah, there's a missile tank underneath it. Um, there's no point fast forwarding here because the next couple are actually pretty close. So we walk in uh, through this door into the what's this, some kind of storage area, I think. And uh, if we stand at the top of these stairs and look left across here, we'll notice there's a missile tank there. We couldn't really see with the, the camera angle, that, sort of this angle. So what we need to do is uh, space jump, not super jump, that's Splatoon. Space jump across here, uh, morph ball into the hole, and collect that missile tank, good. And uh, we're still not done because there's actually another one in here. Uh, jump on top of these big storage containers, and we break, uh, not that box, we break this box. And there's an energy part in here too. Good, okay. Onwards. Okay, uh, got another power bomb door in here, so let's blow that up. And of course, that means another uh, Desbrakian fight, so let's get ready for a big old scrap. A uh, bit of a small room, this one, so might be a little bit tricky. Not a lot of room to move. Oh, Jesus. Just swipe me in the face. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Ow. Okay, there's, there's some more deadly combo attacks. Uh, hopefully, we won't get grabbed again. He always seems to avoid your charge shot right after he does that jump attack, so maybe I should. I mean, try not doing it. Oh god, I need to move. Okay. Uh, nearly stunned? No, not yet. Oh, come on, come on. Is that it? There we go, that's it. And then we'll run forward. Boom, lethal strike to the face. Good. And uh, that opens this door, and we can run through, and we can find uh, another energy part. And I think that's the fourth of four. Uh, yep, so that fills up our, our... a little bit of that. That gives us another energy tank. And I think that is all the items in Sector 2. Yep, we've got 100% in Sector 2. So now we're going to head back to the sort of main elevators 
uh, the main elevator area, and we're going to go to sector three next. So this is the corridor that was kind of leading up to the Ridley fight. Uh, now we've cleared out those robot guys. We've got enough space to get a run for a speed boost. When we enter the next room, we should just jump straight up to the ceiling. And if we space jump to the right, we can find a missile tank here. Good. Okay. And now we can just jump back down and carry on on our way. Okay, uh, we're back in the kind of large lava, rake, la uh, lava lake area. We've entered through kind of, uh, well, this door here, basically. Uh, what we need to do, is can be a little tricky to kind of follow the path, is jump down here and go in this door, once the loading finishes. Come on now. Okay, and on front of us, on the staircase, is a missile door that we can blast off with a super missile. Also, take care of those enemies at once. Drop in there, and we'll grab uh, this energy tank. Good. Okay, and there's uh, actually, whoops, if I can jump out, there's a couple more, <laughs> I can't get out, it's really, really stupid. Okay, there's a couple more pretty close by, we'll take care of these enemies. Um, okay, the next one is, yeah, the next one is actually here, and it's actually just below our feet. You can kind of see the blue glow of the missile tank there. This one can be a bit confusing to get, what you need to do, whoops, didn't really mean to shoot him quite so soon. Um, there's a little shutter here that we need to open. Uh, that enemy I just shot, I think is supposed to be a clue as to where the switch is, because it's actually, like, here behind this rock. That's going to be quite tricky to find. I think, like I say, I think that enemy is supposed to be a kind of a clue as to where you're supposed to look. Once you shoot that switch, the shutter opens. You can roll along this kind of little, uh, little pathway underneath and grab the missile tank. And then we just roll along, uh, back out, and top out. There we go. Okay, we've run, uh, run all the way down that corridor, we found a locked door, kind of looks like a dead end, but there's yet another power bomb door, so let's let's take care of another Desbrakian. Oh boy, okay. Oh, he's angry, okay. Maybe I should just let one do his kind of health recharging thing, because I haven't seen it yet, and I feel like I'm actually getting better at fighting these, so there's a possibility we won't get to see it at all, but who knows. Oh, he's going to attack me. Samus, move! Okay. Boom. Wow, I took that guy out fast. Okay. Well, so much for letting him do his recharge attack. Anyway, that opened the door. Now we can go through here, and we found an, uh, an Excel charge. And I think this is the last one of the game. Uh, so now, our chargers charge super fast, which is very nice. Anyway, now we need, basically just need to head back to where we came. Okay, so we've, uh, we've kind of run away, ugh, started running sort of halfway across the sort of lava lake and we get to this point and the map is telling us there's an item here. Uh, it can be a bit of a tricky one to find, but if we charge up a power bomb here and blow it up, uh, have I just fallen in the lava? I may have just fallen in the lava. No, nope, I'm good. Uh, and that blows the top off that rock and inside is a missile tank waiting to be found. Good. Okay. Uh, and then at this point we kind of hop to the left a little bit and we'll find uh, a trail of grappling points and that's where we need to go next. Okay, so uh, once we've gone through that save room, we find ourselves in this kind of shaft here. We drop all the way to the bottom, and we found a big pool of lava. But we can actually just uh, space jump across it. Ooh, I've got enough height there. Uh, we could just grab on this ledge, and there's a missile tank there. Nice and easy. And then we just space jump back again. Okay, another one here. Very easy. Just look up, and we'll find a super missile door. Blow that off, and we can just uh, space jump and wall jump up here. And another missile tank awaits us. Good, 62. We're, we're getting there. Slowly. Uh, this one in here can be a little bit tricky to get from this angle. I'm not entirely sure you're supposed to do it this way, but uh, as you can see ahead of us, there's this big wall here. We can't, uh, and there's some grappling points. We can't actually reach those grappling points from the floor. So what I do is basically stand by this door, which is kind of on a raised platform, and we just space jump. Uh, up and across like this, and eventually, uh, when we get far enough, keeping our height, we can jump over the wall, and then we kind of go back to uh, back away from the camera, 
land in this little cubby hole, and there's a missile tank here. Um, now to get out again, <laughs> this can be a little tricky, but you basically want to jump again towards the screen, super jumping, uh, sorry, space jumping. Hopefully you've got enough height to get over that wall, and we can kill that Dragotics along the way. Uh, and I think there's only a couple more, yeah, just a couple more um, pickups to get in this area, so we'll, uh, we'll head back this way, actually. I think this is probably the quicker way, so just head back the way we came, and uh, we'll collect those two on our, basically, on our way to Sector 1. Okay, so we're actually back at the, uh, the sort of main elevator, back down to the main sector, but if we continue past this and go the other way, could have got these technically earlier, could have done this in a different order if you wanted, uh, we're back into this room, uh, where we actually saved Anthony and had a big old cutscene with him. Uh, we'll get rid of you, and if we uh, grapple our way up here, we'll find our way to two power-ups actually in this room. One of them is another power bomb door, so I guess we'll get you out of the way first. There's Brachian time! Come on then, buddy. Let's see what you got. Ah. Not today. Oh, why did I jump? <laughs> that was just stupid. I was just basically giving him a free hit. Ow! I got walloped here. Okay, I'm not doing a especially good job against this guy. What? He's just teleporting, like, right on top of me. Okay, stop that, please. Uh, uh. Oh, no! Oh, well, okay, that's what he does to refill his health. As far as I'm aware, there's literally no way of stopping that, so once he started, you just kind of have to do it. I've never... I felt like he did that quite early. Usually, they seem to... Do that one to take a lot more damage, but oh well. Okay, so this fight's going to go a, long, a little bit longer than I wanted it to. At least I got to show that, so... Okay, no you don't. Kaboom. No, I dodged it now. Okay, surely... There we go, okay. And he's gone. Oof. Lethal strike to the face, okay. <sighs> and that opens this door, and inside it we find just a standard missile tank this time, but I guess that's something. Anyway, over this side of the room, there's a super missile door. You probably spotted this. We'll blow that up. Uh, and this time, uh, there's no pickup in here, but there is a computer, so we'll use the computer. And that uh, actually opens this sort of shutter at the top end of this room. And uh, you probably guess how we're supposed to get up there with the big grapple points there. So we stand about here, and we'll swing across using these two grapple points, and that will get us a... what's in here? This is... oh, another energy part. Okay. Cool. Uh, we could have actually got this one a lot earlier. It was technically possible after the Ridley fight, we could have just come this way. I think after the Ridley fight, you come out uh, somewhere in this room, don't you? I felt you did. Well, actually, that kind of feels wrong. Oh, no, sorry, it's the next room, I think. Um... Oh, well, I'd, actually, I don't know. Oh, no, 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 sorry, you come, you, yeah, after the Ridley fight, you kind of come out uh, basically down that thin tunnel there, so it would have been very easy to get that energy tank after the Ridley fight, but uh, it wasn't pr a pressing, desperate need to get it at that point, so I've left it until now instead. Anyway, um, that's everything in Sector 3, so now we're going down to Sector 1. Okay, so it's this room. Uh, I've took out the, the mighty gryptions in here just to make this next bit just a tiny bit easier. Don't forget that you have power bombs and they will actually destroy enemies too, rather than just walls. And we're finally going to uh, use this grapple point that we uh, kind of ran past and ignored several times. And there's actually just a missile tank just right here. Very easy to grab. Probably could have got that even if I didn't want to uh, follow the next path that we're going to go along to, because uh, we'll find this kind of uh, railing along the outside of the room. So if we roll into here, and this kind of takes us along... Uh, quite a, a long path, but it takes us to a, a different area of Sector 1, where we can grab uh, a bunch of other power-ups. This isn't an area we haven't seen before, but it's it's a different route to get there. Um, loading screen, okay. So the next power-up is actually uh, right above us, but we can't quite get to it, and it's a little confusing as to, as to actually how you get to it. What you need to do uh, is basically shine spark up into the ceiling there. So we're going to run this way a little bit, give ourselves plenty of room, and then we're going to charge back build up our speed, 
and basically make sure you shine spot just before you hit that slope, otherwise it'll kill your speed. And you can jump up here, and ooh, we'll break the box, and there's another missile tank in here. Good. Okay, and now we can just jump down. Okay, uh, this room where we fought the big old worm guys before. Hey, look, another power bomb door. Let's blow you up. Ooh, I've kind of lost count as to uh, actually how many were fought and how many we'll would, need would to fight. But yeah, these guys uh, can get a bit bit wary after a while of these. Uh, okay, hopefully I won't have any problems. Should be able to take him out pretty quickly. Okay, come on, come on, big fella. Oh, just ran circles around him. That seemed to work. Okay. I wonder how effective non-charge shots are. Well, whatever, he's gone. Hit him with a few and it seemed to do some damage, so... Anyway, that's another door open. Uh, we'll head in here and we'll find a... Is this an energy part? I believe it is. Energy parts. Good. Okay. I think we're getting close to another energy tank. Uh, at this point, we just need to go back uh, the way we came and we will use this kind of morph ball launcher to shoot us off to another section of Sector 1. Okay, uh, we've got one in here that we haven't got before, so we'll roll up this mothball uh, sort of tunnel here, and I think we have to, yeah, deactivate this sort of hologram computer, and that makes the room turn to its sort of normal boring state, we'll get rid of you, and as you can probably tell, there's a super missile door over there, so we'll blast that, and apparently something else in the process, and uh, there's a missile tank over there, and now we can just uh, space jump over, like so. Excellent. Missile tank. Okay, good. Now we need to turn around and uh, go back uh, into the previous room. And uh, there's a small hole that you may remember us um, sort of blowing open uh, many episodes ago. Uh, we need to go through here. Alright, keep speed boosting through here, get rid of all these explodey things. And as you reach this point, oh, load the screen. As you reach this point here, you want to shine spark straight up and, ow, <laughs> land on a gamer apparently. Okay. And that sort of exposes this shaft. Now, halfway down this shaft, ooh, on the left-hand side, there's a little hole that we can roll into, and we can explode this box, and we get another missile tank. Good. Uh, the next one, the next pickup, is actually pretty close. Oop, so we'll just wall back, uh, we'll wall jump up to the top. And I believe in it. Okay, Gima just committed suicide. And I believe in this next room. Yep, there's a uh, super missile door just on this side here. Pull it open, uh, and go inside to collect our uh, another missile tank. Good stuff. Alright. Alright, so as we roll along this tunnel, you might remember us coming across this uh, before. There's actually a small hole here. I think you might have to explode the kind of brick that's in the way of it. But uh, once you go through there, we end up sort of back into this large room in Sector 1. I think I pointed this out as we came past it before. Um, there's these grapple points that we couldn't get across at the time. Uh, once we swing across here, we'll find another energy part. Good. Uh, and now we want to kind of jump back down into the, like, the main part of the room and head uh, south, I think? Uh, yeah, south. Okay, uh, we're kind of around the area where we first encountered uh, Ridley in his little, little, little birdie form. Uh, at the end of this corridor there is another super missile door. We blow that off. Uh, we've actually been through there before, but uh, we kind of took a different route. Uh, and what we need to do here, now we've exploded that sort of cover off the door, is stand about here and uh, speed boost to the right. And hopefully we've just given ourselves enough room here. Oh, blowing screen. Oh, to <laughs> shine spark directly upwards just as we uh, kind of go through the door. And we'll find a box that we can blow up. That contains uh, another missile tank. Racking up the missile tanks, we're almost there. Not, not long to go now, we've almost got everything. Uh, once we've got that one, we can just jump down here through this door and into this room. And we can wall jump up this little shaft here, and we will find another missile tank. Good, okay. Lovely, 71. Almost there. Okay, so this one is a real pain. Uh, I've just kind of speed boosted up this slope here. Uh, halfway up the slope, you'll notice that there's a super missile door in the ceiling. Uh, you can't shoot it from the top or, I believe, the bottom of the slope, so what you need to do is kind of step onto the slope until you start slipping down, enter first-person view, and blow it off as you go down. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's no way to stop yourself from sliding once you've started, so you end up at the bottom. Uh, and now we need to uh, 
we need to speed boost our way back up to the top again, which is kind of annoying. But there's not really any other way of doing it, that I know of at least. So we'll get these guys out of the way. What happened to my speed boost? I swear it just does that at random in this game. Sometimes you're just running along in a straight line, your speed boost's building up, and then it just dies. Let's try this again. There should be enough room there. Hopefully no enemies appear in my way. Like you. Okay, there we go. We'll speed boost our way all the way up to the top of the slope. Okay, you'll notice that uh, just there we just ran past it. That uh, blowing that kind of super missile door off has exposed a grapple point. So again, we need to kind of do the same thing. Slide down the slope, and we can latch onto the grapple point as we slide down. Don't press any buttons here, just let it pull you up. And uh, it brings you up to another box. Uh, and of course, we blow it up, and inside is a missile tank. Good, okay, that's a very annoying one. And even more annoying is that the only way to get down now is to just jump, which puts you on the slope, and you slide all the way back down, back down to the bottom. So once again, you've got to speed boost your way up the slope for the third time in a row. That's kind of annoying. Okay, uh, I expect you, repro you probably remember this room. We've been through this room quite a lot, particularly the lower part. Uh, there's actually a missile tank in here that we've kind of walked past several times. I could quite easily have grabbed sooner than this. Uh, basically, kind of run part way down this spiral path, and then you want to turn around and run back up it again, and hopefully you'll build up enough speed to get a speed boost going. And at the very end, just shine, bar shine sparks straight up into the air, and you can move to the right, land on this platform, and grab a missile tank. Good. And now you can just jump off and fall all the way to the bottom. Ah! And then you want to head uh, north, I think, so this way. I can't... I've been attacked by bugs! Get off me! These are like really... How do I, how do I get the bug off me? <laughs> Die, will you? My god. Okay. Ugh. Just run past the bugs, don't bother with them. Dude, that was so stylish. <laughs> and now we're stuck on a loaded screen that I don't want. Great. Game, please. I don't even want to go through that door, for God's sake. I want to go to the right. Okay. Ugh. Right. Just get the bugs off. Oh my God. Okay, so in this, uh, this sort of long room full of water, at the very end of it, uh, there is kind of a gate that you need to blast off or sort of run through with the speed booster. Hopefully, okay, hopefully the fish don't get in the way, they can do that sometimes. Hopefully you can just kind of get, uh, run down there, uninterrupted, past the fish, and you can just blast that gate off, uh, or run straight through that gate, and uh, yeah, pick up the missile tank. And then, you don't have to go all the way back round uh, to the other end of the room and use the lift to get back, you can just actually hop up those ledges there and carry on. Okay, so uh, there's uh, there's one in this large room where we fought the Groganch a long time ago. Uh, this actually isn't the intended way to get this, but I find this kind of easier. I, firstly, I've taken out a few of the plant enemies in this room, and then if you just kind of speed boost along here and jump up, and you'll find... Oh, Jesus, almost missed. Uh, you'll find a lovely energy part here. Uh, the way you're supposed to do this, if I go over here I can show you. Uh, if you get to this platform, you can jump to this platform from just by space jumping around here. Uh, if you, yeah, uh, I'm stuck on the wall. If you jump onto this platform and shoot this switch with a charge shot like that, uh, it will activate these platforms. Uh, they only stay activated for a short time, and for some reason I find it really difficult to get from the first platform to the second one. So yeah, that's why I usually just do the, the shine spark there instead. I find it a lot easier. Okay, hopefully I can style this one. I had to, to go for a second run up because I've missed up my speed boost before, but uh, okay, there we go. You uh, uh, little uh, speed boost along that corridor and shine spark to the right at the end, and you'll find yourself right next to a missile tank. You're actually, I think the game just kind of expects you to space jump across there, but it's much more fun doing it that way. Okay, we've got another kind of uh, big tank full of plants and animals and stuff there. And uh, you might remember us, again, a long time ago, running past this switch behind this glass. We couldn't shoot it at the time, but now that we have the, the wave beam, we can. And that kind of opens up a rather weird hidden panel in this uh, this pane of glass here. 
And now we just need to run to the left, shoot a few deadly plants along the way, and missile tank. Good. In amongst plants. Okay, another big room. I, th I think we uh, put a grow ganch in here too. If you find this kind of uh, stripe down the left hand side and just speed boost along it, like this, uh, you will crash your way through this wall and find yourself in a hidden corridor full of gamers that we're just going to plow straight through. And through this door, it oh, <laughs> it's another hidden corridor. And through this door is a missile tank. Hooray! Good, okay, we're very close now. We're very nearly done. Um, rather annoyingly, the, the, one of the other items we need is in this room, but you can't just jump off this platform. Um, there's kind of an invisible wall in the way. I, I know the why they did that is because it would be very easy otherwise to kind of just stand over there and super jump, uh, rather space jump over to this platform. And they wanted to, to, to make sure that you got there via this kind of hidden corridor route, but it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Okay, so we've got back into uh, this room from the, the sort of quote-unquote normal way, and we find another power bomb door. So let's blow this open and uh, take on yet another Desbrakian. And uh, this one's quite tricky because there's really not a lot of room to move here, so you've got to kind of ow, stay right up in its face. Okay, come on then, buddy. Uh, okay, no, you're teleporting around as well. I guess he's got his own version of sense moving. I've not really, I've only really just kind of registered that. But okay, no, you don't. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right then. That was weird. I was trying to dodge out of the way and I was just stood further enough away out of his attack range anyway, so it didn't matter. Anyway, that opens the door and we can walk in here and find an e-recovery tank. <laughs> Not really that crucial at this point in the game, but oh well. Nice to get it at least. Uh, and I think, uh, yes, that's every item in Sector 1. So uh, all the main sectors are now completely sort of devoid of items, but we're only at 97% completion and that's because this, some of these loading screens look just terrible uh, and that's because there are actually uh, three items in the bioweapons research center which is classed as like its own little area so uh, that's where we're off to next Okay then, here we are, Bioweapons Research Centre. Uh, this is where we found James on the floor, they seem to have cleaned up since then. Um, there's actually a missile tank in here that we could have got uh, back then, but I, I kind of decided not to bother just because I wanted to keep things flowing. Uh, we come up this staircase and up to this little upper balcony, we'll find a door here. And there's a missile tank just sitting in this room, very easy to get. Good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, these fellas don't seem too happy about us stealing their missile tank and they kind of ambush us and we have to kill them all <laughs> before we can get out and there's quite a few of them. Uh, fortunately, again, with our, I think I've mentioned this so many times over the last few episodes, but with our kind of superior weaponry at this point, they're not really any match. So it's just a case of taking them all out as quickly and efficiently as you can and then you can escape. So, just nail these last few guys, there's quite a lot of them, like I said, I'm not entirely sure, but I would say this is like 20 of them or something, so ow. I have to get hit by that guy? I think I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay, some of them are a bit dodgy if you try and jump at them, but... Yeah. There we go. One. Is that all of them? Okay, that was pretty quick, actually. Anyway, uh, now that we've done those, we can actually continue further into the Bioweapons Research Centre and get the last two. Alright, so you might remember uh, this kind of area before. Uh, whilst we were, When we were here last, we went through sort of that door and ended up fighting the... Uh, Queen Metroid eventually. Uh, I did point out this staircase at the time the door was locked, uh, this time it's open so we can go on through and uh, apparently we just find an empty corridor, that's not very exciting. Just dash through here, I think. Is there another empty corridor through here? No? Okay, we're actually in a... I don't really know what this room is to be perfectly honest. There's, it's just kind of big and empty and there's like a display in the middle. Now, if you walk around the back of the display, this is actually kind of tricky. It took me a while to spot this. You can actually kind of stand in it and then wall jump up and there's a little hole up here that we can roll into. Uh, we just kind of follow the track along. Eventually, we come across a missile tank. Good. We'll grab that one. 
And the next one is actually not very far away, so we'll just carry on, sort of follow the path through, and we'll end up in the sort of lower area. Roll over here, blow up uh, that kind of floor panel with a bomb, and final missile tank. We've got it. So that's it. That's all the uh, not, all, not only the, all the items in the bioweapons research center, but all the items in the game. We now have a uh, 100% item collection. Lovely. So now that we've done that. Uh, we're going to return to the main sector uh, to actually kind of complete our final objective. So uh, I'll I'll meet you there, I guess. Okay, so uh, we are finally back to the main sector. We've got all the pickups now, so we can probably uh, get back to our main objective. So let's just take a quick look at the map. Now, um, you might look at the map and just think, well, I've just got to go down a few rooms. But uh, once again, the game kind of makes it difficult. Uh, in the next room, there is a, an elevator that you would need to, uh, to use to get high up. And uh, yeah, once again, the elevator is rather annoyingly doesn't work. And uh, that's the only way up that room, so we need to find another route. And surprise, surprise, we have yet another power bomb door. We're not quite done with these guys yet. So uh, we need to uh, take care of this guy and find an alternative route to get to our objective. So let's take him out. Ugh. Come on now. Again, it's a little bit tricky. It's not, not too much space in here. Is he? Oh, okay. It looked like he was just dodging everything I shot at him. Have I even hit him once yet? Okay, that hit him. Oh, I must have hit him a few times because I've stunned him. He didn't look like they were hitting. That was weird. Okay, well, whatever. Taking care of him and I should be able to go through this door now. Good. And uh, I think we've just got a few kind of empty corridors to run through. Nothing too exciting. Not much I can say about these. So let's uh, let's build up some speed. And oh God, yeah, of course, another elevator. This game has too many elevators. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Uh, now, where the hell are we? Well, over here is really all I can tell you. It's still technically in the main sector. Uh, there's only one way we can go. So let's go through this door. Oh good, this bit. Um, you'll enjoy this. <laughs> so we have quite a long corridor here. Uh, it looks to be blocked off at the end, but as we approach, the kind of shuttle comes down. But you'll notice there's quite a lot of enemies in here. Um, this kind of this is quite a long corridor, and there's going to be several stages featuring a variety of different enemies. This is kind of like one less last enemy rush before the end of the game. Uh, ooh, I'm kind of pinning myself into a corner here. Um, might be easier to just take care of these guys with missiles, to be honest, and blast you. And, oh, I took two at once. And there's also one of those invisible guys in here, but, oh, we, we took care of him somehow. Uh, unfortunately, taking care of those first few isn't all we need to do here, because even more appear. I'm going to try and... Oh, nice, good job, camera. Let's see if I can take care of them all with missiles. Might speed things along a little bit. Okay, well, I got... I at least uh, killed one of them and I kind of... No, I didn't kill one of them, he's behind me. Okay, now one's dead. And I made that other thing visible, so let's just keep using charge shots. I guess I can't really use overblasts on these guys, because they always throw you off. Come on, are you nearly dead? Okay, now he's dead. Okay, good. So that takes that shutter down, and now we can advance a little bit further on in this corridor. But still, there's still more enemies awaiting us. Uh, I think another shutter will go down and there'll be more enemies waiting behind it. Yeah, some of these guys. Now, at this point... We can return to using uh, the screw attack uh, to take care of enemies. Oh, and some more, well, more uh, cyborgs of easy as well. Again, the screw attack will get you through most of these enemies pretty, pretty well. It's just the the mighty Egyptians really at the beginning are a bit, um, uh, a bit kind of anti-jump. So you kind of might have to take those, uh, take care of those in a bit more of a traditional manner. But then, yeah, everything else is pretty vulnerable to the screw attack. So. It kind of looks like a threatening corridor, but you should be able to just take care. I don't mean to keep sense moving like that. You should be able to just take care of most things with this screw really. I guess the power bomb would probably also do it as well, although uh, because of the cooldown on the power bomb, you won't be able to use that too much. But anyway, let's keep advancing onwards. More enemies. Oh, good, these bug guys. Well, these aren't really a threat. They're just kind of annoying. 
Let's just use a bunch of charge shots to take him out. Come on now. Oh, whoa, that guy nearly got me. Okay, we'll just launch you into the wall. That's fun. Can't, uh, got, got to do that one last time before the end of the game. How the hell did you avoid that? I swear he just kind of avoided the screw attack and just nailed me anyway. Okay, die, will you? For the love of God. Is that all of them? Nope, we've got some more. What we got? Oh, more, more of these fellas, isn't it? Okay, well, at least there's not as many of them as there were in that room earlier. Ow. Screw attack. Screw attack. Okay, I'm saving the power bomb for what's coming up next because... I, I've never actually tested it on these guys before, but I kind of want to... I hope it's going to work. Oh, God, it's this guy. Remember him? We fought him so many times. I'm going to try the... Ow, the power bomb. Wow, okay. I don't know if I can use a power bomb because he keeps knocking me out of it. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I can't use a screw attack on him, and... Yep, the overblast doesn't really work, he just keeps throwing you off, so I guess we'll just have to take care of him. The old-fashioned way! Okay, well, I've frozen his, uh, kind of antenna. Ow! Damn it! I thought we'd seen the last of you, but no! Had to come on back. I can't see you when you're up there, that's really annoying. I'm just gonna run away and hope he follows me up this end. There he is, okay. Uh, come on now. Uh. Okay, maybe when he's flying around I could use the power bomb. I don't know. He's really not being cooperative. Get down here, will you? Okay. No, don't go for the overblast. Oh. Oh, okay. You only need one arm through. Okay, he's dead. Phew, okay. Unfortunately, we're not done because of the second one. Ultimate dick move game. Ugh. Hate these guys. Okay, let's just blast him with a missile. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Well, I think it did. It sounded like it did a lot of damage. I don't actually have a, a meter to kind of judge it with. Okay, I've stunned him. And we can go in for... Boom, a lethal strike. Oh, wait, that wasn't lethal. <laughs> It was, it was a, a deadly strike, but not quite lethal. Okay, now he's dead. That was weird. Never really seen it do that before, other, apart from, like, bosses. Well, I guess he was kind of a mini-boss, but anyway. Now that we've dealt with that kind of onslaught, we get a save room, which is nice. Okay, good. We've uh, refilled our health. We're going to need that for what's coming up. Uh, as we walk into this room, we will notice it is the control bridge. And uh, let's take a, just a quick look uh, before we go in. Uh, quite big and open room, so that probably gives you a clue about what's about to happen. Uh, it seems kind of an odd design for a control bridge. There's all these computers and and terminals and stuff around the outside edge, and then just a massive empty spot in the middle. But anyway, let's jump down. Fantoon! What on earth are you doing here? Ah, who cares, it's really cool. It's Fantoon! So, uh, yeah, you may recognise Fantoon from the likes of Super Metroid. Um, he's pretty deadly here. This is, like, the, the true final boss. Um, generally, yeah, he's gonna start smashing in the windows. He's not a happy chappy. Um, he's pretty tricky, uh, to be perfectly honest, mostly because of the never-ending stream of shit he just keeps flinging at you. Look at all these blue things that you need to avoid. Um, I generally would recommend... Uh, not using missiles at all and just trying for charge shots, to be perfectly honest. Just keep dodging uh, the stream of blue, whatever the hell they are. And when you think you've got a spare second, uh, blast him with a charge shot. Uh, okay, I've got a brief moment to breathe here. I'm going to lock onto him just quickly, just so... Jesus, so I can get his health bar on screen. I've done, like, nothing to him. And then just keep trying to dodge and also avoid... Okay, I thought he was going to go for a big tentacle attack, but he's not doing it. Okay, here he comes. Big tentacle attack from the side. Try and either jump over or... I think you can still sense move those. Ow, ow. Okay, and the one from the other side. Completely wrecking what's left of this ship. So just just keep on the move, basically. That's all I can really recommend. Uh, I would say don't bother with... I, I think I've already said that, I? Yeah, don't bother with missiles because they're just too slow and there's just too much stuff coming at you. You don't really get chance. Oh, God. Now he's shooting big deathly lasers out of his eyes and making big red pools of death. So just don't stand in those, because that's going to hurt. Uh. Okay, oh god, there's three of them. Jesus, I've never seen him use like three at once before. Oh, and apparently they like explode into big columns of nastiness. Oh god, okay. Keep moving, keep blasting him with, uh, with charge shots. Ow. Okay, I feel like it's about time, yeah, just as, <laughs> just as I was about to say it, for him to spawn more of these little mini hands. Ugh. You can stun them with, like, a, a charge shot, and then you can get in on them and do a lethal strike like that. But just be careful. Ow. Sometimes, as the kind of lethal strike animation ends, you might be stood in a bad place and just loads of stuff will come at you. So, it's probably best just using a screw attack on out, to be fair, because that will kill them instantly. Ugh. And they can do quite a lot of damage. Okay, I got two ones. That's good. So, yeah, just try and focus on the eye and get rid of the hands as they come near. Ooh. 
Apparently you can't shoot them, or stun them rather, with a charge shot before they come flying at you. That blue thing was chasing me down like crazy. Okay, just kill it. Kill it. What? Why did my score attack not work? Must have missed. Ow. Okay, took a few hits there. Uh, aim at the eye, damn it. Okay, I need to get rid of you. Okay, good. Uh, okay, okay, we'll, we'll get we'll get in there slowly. Get out of the pool of whatever that is. Ow, ow, ow. Everything just hitting me. I can't sense move. Uh, literally just mashingly, uh, yeah, crazily mashing every every direction on the D-pad and hoping that I can sense move everything. And it's only sort of working. Keep moving, Samus. Don't dodge into that. That's a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Okay, boom. Okay. Oh god, there's so much stuff, though. This is crazy. Got tentacles, these like demon hands, big red whatever they are, the blue things. There's just so much to avoid. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can stun him. No, he's not going to do it. Okay. Uh. Oh, avoid the tentacle. Okay. Okay, just a few more hits. We're nearly there. Okay, so, Fantoon, uh, just barging in out of nowhere. Uh, he did quite a lot of damage, as you can see. Took me down by, what, five energy tanks? I can't quite see how many have been depleted there. I also noticed during that fight that that death animation was slightly different. Um, and sometimes, as you kind of get to the end of the fight, he kind, his eye kind of flops onto the floor stunned, and you can run in for, like, a lethal strike. So I think I've probably got footage of that, so I'll show it at some point. So yeah, apparently a couple of different ways to, to beat Fantoon. Didn't really know about that until just then, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, anyway, we've beaten Fantoon. And uh, that's pretty much the, well, almost the, the final thing. Oh, I've got another elevator. All right, well, I guess we couldn't finish without one more elevator ride. But we're almost there. We're almost at our final objective. So uh, not far to go now. Unfortunately, <laughs> this elevator gets stuck part way down. But we have power bombs. Nothing can stand in our way. And we just, no messing about, we just blow up the elevator. <laughs> just a perfect ring of destruction around us. And we can just jump down the rest of the way. Whee! Plop. Good. Okay. And then I think we just have a few more corridors to run through. And we are, uh, we're all but there. Yes, okay, here we are. We finally made it to our objective. Let's, uh, let's see what Samus was after all this time. Okay, so I don't know if they were going for a, a, a comedy value there, but for some reason, the way that um, that kind of alarm interrupts that kind of tender moment always makes me laugh. But anyway, as you can probably tell, um, we need to get out of here, and uh, we're also playing as Zero Suit Samus, which is different. Um, so yeah, this is kind of the traditional Metroid timed escape sequence. We'll wait until the, the very last moment before we uh, we 
put one in this game. Or yeah. So uh, yeah, Zero Suit Samus plays. I mean, controls more or less the same as Samus, but she has uh, significantly less defense. We only have like one energy tank's worth of health, and we don't have much firepower. We're only carrying a little paralyzer, which um, doesn't kill. It paralyzes, which is kind of obvious, I guess. Uh, fortunately, we don't take fall damage. Even without the suit, we can just jump from great heights. So, uh, yeah, we just need to get out of here as quickly as we can. Um, to be perfectly honest, there's more than enough time. It's not really too dangerous. I, I would say the probably biggest threat is running out of health rather than running out of time. Uh, but even then, it's not too difficult if we just keep moving. So, yeah, we've just got to run and get out of here. Uh, we'll just jump down this elevator shaft. Whee! And uh, just keep running past all the enemies, really. Most of them will miss, as you can see. <laughs> so, yeah, not too much to worry about. Down these stairs. Uh, I would say... Honestly, the, when I'm ever, whenever, whenever I'm playing this section, my biggest reason for taking damage is running into things that are on fire, uh, as you will soon see. Uh, if you press the the two button, ah, damn, as you're approaching these gates, you can slide underneath them. But if you do happen to be uh, too slow, if you charge up a paralyzer shot and shoot it, it will uh, it will kind of make it rise back up again, so you can you can carry on walking underneath it. Uh, I'm not sure. Am I going the right way? This room always confuses me for some reason. I always get lost. Okay, yeah, it's the right way. Here's the door. Uh, we've got any more gates to slide under? I'm sure we will. Okay, we've got some fallen rubble. Okay, this gate needs shooting. Boom! There we go. Oh, Jesus. Okay. A couple of Zabesians. Oh, that's not good. Okay. I'm trapped in here with one. Okay, good. You shoot the Zabesians with the paralyzer shot, and obviously it paralyzes them for a split second. But if you've got a gate there that you need shooting as well, it's a little bit tricky to know which one you should shoot first. Okay, we'll just uh, leave our way around this fallen rubble. That guy's shooting at us. We'll jump over this. Okay, keep going, Samus. We're nearly there. Not too far to go. We've just got to make it to our ship. Uh, don't touch the fire, because that will hurt. And like I say, I find that's probably the most common way of taking damage in this section, to be honest, is just running into the fire. But uh, I think we've only got a few more corridors left to go through. Yep, okay, through this door. And is this it? Is this... Yeah, okay, we're back to the back to the hangar. So all we need to do is just keep running, and we'll make it to our ship with plenty of time remaining. And we're out of here. Congratulations! Yay, we did it! 100% of the items, and uh, that's it. That's the end of the game. We finished Metroid Other M uh, 100%, apart from doing hard mode, but there's no real point. So, um, yeah, we're done. We're completely finished. Uh, not really much more to say about that. Oh, actually, there is one thing. Um, just one little sort of extra cutscene that I wanted to show off. Uh, if you do fail uh, to get out of the ship in time, which is... To be honest, there's no real reason why you should, because you get given plenty of time. But um, there's a slightly different cutscene uh, for when you fail, so I guess I'll show that now. And finally, one last thing just to show off, nothing major, but uh, we go to the file select screen and we'll notice that we now have a, a small small little icon of Adam's helmet next to the hair clip. 
uh, as well as obviously the uh, the hundred percent rating on the on the right hand side there. Uh, just over seven hours that took. Uh, that's probably slightly inaccurate because of the amount of times I'd changed and copied save files and stuff. But uh, yep, that's it. We are done with Metroid Other M, one hundred percent. To be honest, I feel like I could sit here and talk about this game and this just like entire playthrough for quite a while, but. I also feel like it's probably the best thing to do at this point is to just say nothing other than uh, thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon for something else. Uh, bye everyone.